Hi guys, welcome back to our brand new show, NCIS. We are on episode 3. Thoroughly enjoyed the first two so far. I am aware, I've seen a couple of comments on people where I've posted um, the first couple of episodes that this show has some very good story arcs, but initially, of course, a lot of it's going to be, start off at least anyway, quite procedural. Um, especially with the time that it was made, but the further along we go, it becomes a bit less than that, so I'm intrigued to get to that. But I fully expect and appreciate that for a show that was made when they started, uh, the procedural element it is quite high, kind of case of the week, but at the same time, we're getting used to our cast and the way that they do things and the type of cases that they do get involved in and don't get involved in. Um, but you know me, I'm all about backstory. I'm all about, it's fine with the case of the week and trying to work it out, but I want to know more about our characters. So far, everyone I've met, I seem to like. That's very unusual. Usually, with any new show, there's usually one or two cast members. I'm like, nah, eh, not really bothered about them. So I want to get properly invested. Anyway, too much talking. Let's get on with it. See what episode three has to offer. I expect this to start a little bit like how CSI did, you know? Wait, you hear that? That's good. Yeah, I've always dug the 80s. It's at sea. Yeah. Sounds like fireworks. Oh, and that's a speedboat zooming oh, away. Whatever it was, it's over now. I like how many it's come towards you. There's nobody on board. Fireworks my ass. Yeah. It's all shot up. So, what's left out there? All agents not working active cases are to attend a sexual harassment lecture at the NCIS Human Resource Training Center at 0930 hours today. I and that's a very good reason as to why to try and find a case to go investigate so you don't have to attend a sexual awareness course. I get it. Hey, I'm kidding. Except for Tony. <laughs> Last time, Kate, I was only trying to get my seatbelt on. Right. Seatbelt. Okay, we're on it. Yay! That Navy commander just washed up on a North Virginia beach. So this speedboat's turned on. But who was doing all the shooting and where are they? NCIS. Boat crashed ashore right in the middle of a beach blanket bingo. Navy commander, getting mixed up in stuff like this. Hi. Diane Fontaine, WXCK News. Bye. I'd like to ask you some questions. Donazzo. Get her out yeah. of here. Let's go. Move the wallet from my body without gloves. I had to get the Vic's name. He's not a Vic. He's a victim. You don't move anything. It could be significant. Kate bagged this. I'll do the photos. Well, Tony told me what to do. Tony doesn't tell you what to do, I do. You grab an extra kit from the truck and work that scene. By myself? You need help? No. Doc, this crime scene's a mess. Can we move the body? Why not? The imbecile obviously has. Yeah. What is a commander doing involved in this? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, my Should we have another crime scene then? Even if you'd survived the water, you would never have walked again. Special I mean, it sounded like yeah. a shootout between Sergeant Lynn radioed you were coming. Two Sergeant Ken Fuller, DEA. All right. This is Captain Bradstone, Army yeah. CID. Ah, oh, give. This scene is pristine. Oh. We're not amateurs. Who says they're connected? Me. Well, I guarantee you these two guys didn't. I figured they got jacked for the boat and the coke. Captain CID working this crime scene? By him. Emmy's not available till tomorrow. And since this may have something to do with your Navy officer. I didn't do it. Okay to touch, Doc. So I'm assuming I'm just making an assumption here that we've got dead commander and two dead possible drug dealers, smugglers. But all we've got is the speedboat that ran ashore, and we don't have the second vessel that possibly they were on. So in effect, with another crime scene that we, we can't examine for now. Drugs? Money. How many drug dealers you know dump the bodies and the cash? That's strange. I didn't have to ride in the tow truck with that boat, now did I? You do this to all the newbies or just the females? The hazing you. Around 0230, they heard what they first thought was fireworks out on the water. Gunfire. Good guess, Tony. 
Commander was running. Well, probably from a larger boat, they heard racing up the coast. Dude. Fishing gear, bait, coffee thermos, ham sandwich. I logged everything, sent it to Abby. No drugs? No. We working a joint investigation with the DEA? Yep, Ducky's got all three bodies in autopsy and Abby's drawing the money. Your life saying, my life was in jeopardy until I cured the chief's wife of a terrible yeast infection. <laughs> I can see why you don't talk. You know he can't hear you, right? <laughs> Instructor at Hampton Roads was found on North Virginia Beach this morning near the bodies of two the alleged report. drug dealers. May have been involved in smuggling illegal drugs into the Norfolk area. Basketball program will be suspended on all Norfolk community courts. Wow. That's a bit harsh. You gonna kick our asses out? Nope. You 5-0, ain't you? 5-0. Sorta. Sorta. Answer me one question. Shut sure down. Get the right answer. You have my word. These lights will get back on. Yeah. He's a knock, man. He's trying to get us. To He's not a knock. So tell the bacon what he wants to hear if it gets us our lights back. Figure it out. I'll know. Mm -hmm. Gibbs. For the 1990s, I've got the names wrote down until I get Treasury used to. Introduced micro printing as a countermeasure against computer printers and copiers. It's got one tiny flaw. Really? I'll be damned. What? What? You think a man that can find heroin in a horse's ass could find this? I had a glove on. <laughs> Untied states. Untied states. Oh, so the forger was dyslexic. Yeah. Not just the forger. Boss a bit callous. Pull in the boss of the dead drug runners. Trujillo. Sure. For as long as it takes him to get his lawyers down here. Yeah. yeah that dirtbag that runs the rival gang too. I like it. I, I, I like that he's first. willing to play old school. To what? Find out who forged these notes and where they've been circulating. First rule of counterfeiting, don't spell anything wrong. <laughs> Sign language. Communicating. Abby signs? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, her parents were deaf. Hey, thank you. That was fun, Gibbs. You still got the touch. I get to fit Sea Dog didn't deal. Sea Dog? Who's Sea Dog? To get their reporters' numbers that just talk. <laughs> Gibbs. See if she's available for lunch. Love to. Can I expense it? No, but I will. Commander Farrell's old news. I'm on to fresher bodies. Already. Aren't you interested in getting it right? Yeah. The price of a man's reputation. They I don't care. I report anything that wasn't told to me by the cops. What if I let you in? He did do that. Special Agent Gibbs, Frank Trujillo, and Daryl. They brought them both down here. Number of recognition I just saw. Yeah. Never scuffed anyone in my life. This naval commander didn't die a natural death or fighting for his country. I want my lawyer. There it is. This was found on these two boys in the cooler. Tony, read them their rights. Put them on the first Navy transport to Gibmo. Yep. Hey, to an attorney. Nope. Gibbs, we don't Even know who counterfeited that attorney. You won't get. Thankfully, hopefully, <laughs> that I will never be on the receiving end of this. But I appreciate that this new terrorism acts that would have been very new then, post 9-11, throws all of that out the window. As soon as you mention the fact that you're an enemy combatant, which means you're a terrorist or you are supporting a foreign country or government or cell or whatever that it's do not pass go you go straight to gitmo you know it's for those that aren't radicalized that aren't prepared to mark themselves that aren't prepared to give their life for their cause and just like these two guys just two normal drug dealers who are just in it for this that should be enough to scare the shit out of him because it would be me. Because once you're at Gimho, you, you're forgone. You, you're done. Yeah, you can. U.S. citizens. Yeah, you can. Do you understand these rights you don't have? It's not the bluff. Two men on ice. You were both uh, brothers. So I kept my boats in port until our uh, little dispute. Yesterday I learned that the Garcia brothers took one of my boats out Sunday night and. Never came back. Believe that, Daryl? There's no way you wouldn't come with the real in front of my grill. <laughs> real in front of my grill? 
I gotta remember that. I like that. That tells me fishing in disputed waters. Yeah. Man, I wasn't hip till this narc dragged me down here. He's not lying to you. He didn't kill them. Rival dirtbags vouching for each other. He's got GPS locators in all his boats. <laughs> Thank you. I like to handle my own problems. They know way too much about each other. This one is ours. Now we got all the crime scene. Oh, main crime scene. Tony. Dex been hosed with his blood <laughs> residue. Call Tony. <laughs> some swabs to nose. I'll start the cabin. Oh, it's a mess in here. Yeah, he's, he's pitching how it's gone down here. All of our investigators can do this, can just piece it together just by analyzing the scene and picturing it in their mind. Oh, oh hell. <laughs> I know nothing Main about those. A mess. Blood stains, bullet holes, found some bloody bandages on the bunks. One of them's hurting. Can I search for drugs? We're just getting started. Keep forgetting you're not a dog walker. Oh, uh, that's very funny. <laughs> they should have hosed down in here. Yeah. They did just enough to avoid attracting attention of someone walking by. What are you thinking? Yeah, that makes sense. He's heard the gunshots. Caught the crossfire. Yeah. I only had the time. Naughty, naughty. What? You got the time? My watch is... Can't help but notice a pretty girl, even at distance. <laughs> So how's it feel not wearing a suit? I think a bit like mom felt when she burned her bra. <laughs> oh, sisters. You know better than to ask anyone to slip you info on something like this. Need to know. We had to involve the FBI. Agent Todd. When you're talking this level of... I see you've joined the Cowboys. Another Cowboys. from the Marina office. But wasn't Jenny he our boss? Very helpful. He was, wasn't he? Jenny and Nancy. I'm getting confused. Was he her, was he her boss while she was still Secret Service? I can't remember, you have to tell me that in the comments, but I know the actor anyway. But if the FBI has got involved, it means they've already been keeping their eye on this kind of operation, which means it's obviously from a larger scale. That's just a sample from it. So that's why it's flagged up. When they docked yesterday, there was someone on this boat. Do you have a description? Late 20s, glasses, short hair. The guy had a couple of cell phones. When he wasn't making calls, he was working a laptop. By the way, they're Aussies. Aussies, I love Aussies. <laughs> Said they hugged a lot. Okay. That's weird. Describe the driver. Bandaged leg to the van. He must have been in the cabin the whole He's time. He's the one who was injured. Then they drove off. Can Tony sniff the boat now? It's all yours. I'd have gotten more in the color. Seem to have got right in this. Unlike other similar type shows like CSI and other than that is they they seem to have just hit on just the right amount of humor in connection with serious cases and a serious subject matter, but it not be, but it not take focus and attention away from the seriousness of the show because all the lighthearted stuff is between the characters. It's not involving third parties. Excuse me? Oh, is this yours? Get out of my chair. You need to seriously rethink your definition of the word friend. If I were in Marcy's shoes, I would have done the same thing. Fine. I once again have the pleasure yeah, of your right. company, Agent Fernell. We're into more than phony Franklins and dead drug dealers. The terrorists. Yeah. I was wondering if it was going to link back to that. Any prints lifted from that boat that are left by voice. known terrorists will get hit. Just hardwire us into this terrorist database. Permanently. Sorry, Tom. We like to monitor who's accessing our data. Oh, hell, why not? We're all on the same team. You're supposed to be, Tom, yeah. If any of our colleagues hear about this, I'll pull your plug. Thanks, Charlie. Good luck. I hate the bureaucrats, the politicians. Enough. How long to scan the entire database? Don't know. No one's ever done it. Let's hope we find someone. Sounds like a real Oka, doesn't he, Jay? I reckon. Oka. Well, look Every who it is. <laughs> She's way older something. than her. You'll get the drift. Do you know, I did spot in the credits, I saw Emily DeRaven, and I'm like, D did I really see that? No, I, no, I know it was accurate. I'd love to, but uh, on duty. It's Claire. I'm not here. 
Oh, this is silly. Well, Reenacting can uh, jog your memory, especially your sense of smell. We put the prawns on the barbie. Sorry, I'm not taking the piss. <laughs> we toasted. Cheers. Sense of smell will make you recall. He's right. He's right. Instruction to that. Okay. One guy on laptop glasses. There's your injured guy. But trust the white van. Got him. Got him. Got him. You know him? No. One of the foreign terrorists wanted for the UN bombing in Baghdad. It worked. I had Jenny and Nancy grill some prawns. They don't call them shrimp in Australia. The water company, phone company. Jefferson Power, Vantage Cable. Milkman. I'm not done. Pulled this videotape from the security camera at the mobile station on the road out of the marina. Best terrorist film category. Sweet. So if anyone's interested, the only prints off the boat I could match were the druggies in the cooler. Nope. Who could get a word in? I ran those prints to the bureau. I got nada. You did not have access to the full database. No, you didn't. You're holding out on us. Nah, I'm not gonna get a play from that. Oh. Jefferson Power. We've been sweating terrorists hacking into our power grid distribution software. It's a substation distribution node, which are all under tight security, which we're about to get a hell of a lot tighter. Terrorist alert. APB on Jefferson Power Company, van number 831. I feel like I just kissed my sister. I didn't know you had a sister, Tony. <laughs> I don't. It's fantasizing. I need music to do that. <laughs> that August blackout was caused by a tree falling on some power lines, right? Something like that. Okay, here's a timeline for the August 15 blackout. Put it up on the plasma key. I it started in East Lake, Ohio at 1400, and by the time I reached Indian Point, Buchanan, New York, all the Northeast, and most of Canada was dark. Well, that's stupid. Take down stupid. those three flashing nodes simultaneously, and you take out the entire Eastern power grid. <laughs> that's a little bit naive, isn't it, from whoever... <laughs> Published that fucking article. You're actually showing someone how to cripple the country. You might as well just put a recipe in there on how to cook crystal meth while you're at it. What the fuck, you know? <laughs> Story by Walter Bike. <laughs> right here. One. You can literally call a cascade failure by just doing this. This is ridiculous. Where yeah. this case is ended up from where it started. It's an alias. What's he do? Power line inspector. Is our note at the end of that transmission line? Yes, about yeah. a mile west. This guy knows where to take down three transmission towers and do the same thing. How do we know this line is one of them? It crosses the node, doesn't it? Nobody's that lucky. Hmm. We are. No, he spied you. He spied you. Yalla, yalla. He could be a power company employee. No, he... Jesus. No, I don't think so. No, he's gonna blow it. He's gonna blow it. No, he's not. No! Stop him! Yeah. Gotta be a kill shot. Wow. Both got C4. detonators. Looks like the other two must have the same setup. Looks like he's got all three phones at the same number. Lucky he wasn't phone savvy. Savvy enough to wire three phones to the same number. That was... I can't believe the case ended up there. The basketball's got their lives back. Of course they are. Navy Commander Brian Farrell, now he's been cleared. founder of Urban Lights, was cleared today of any connection to the drug war. Do you know, they annoy me with this. The minute there is any sign that this guy was involved in this this basketball um, courts and everything were in his, his in his honour that to just shut it down instantly and then when it comes out that they've got it wrong and they jump the gun it's oh we have an issue of apology they're just so full of crap is he here to talk to you yeah that's thanks to him actually very nice i can't guarantee that my producer will air it you're trying that's a start Thank you. They're too Bye. quick to just look for ratings and post Check it. Who is this chick with the car? Is it his wife, his girlfriend? What? <laughs> Not telling us anything. I tried that. That was good. All right, guys. Episode three, Sea Dog. Um, I do like how that just progressed from 
where we started with the case with it just being a dead commander and ending up almost on the, you know ending up with a terrorist and a terrorist watch list and the FBI getting involved and it just went from one extreme to another. Really good shot from Gibbs there from inside the car to initially stop him. But then when he tried to because he lost his glasses and he tried to just blow it at the last minute, had to be a kill shot. <clears throat> Excuse me, got the throat. Um, as was mentioned in, in the commentary, um, it seems to have a nice balance of a little bit of, of fun and comedy and, and bit one-liners and in particular, Tony and Kate bouncing off one another with their... With their what, what would you call it? What would you call it? Um, work colleague related banter? I, I don't know. I've never been in that type of work environment. Um, and uh, he's he's happy go lucky, and he, he loves he loves he, he feels like he's ju he's just left high school, but he's a fully trained agent. Uh, but but he, he's still like he's on spring break. <laughs> um, he's one for the ladies. That's for sure. But he was professional enough there to get them to do a recall the way that he did, having them to just reenact what happened. Um, nice little cameo there of Claire from Lost, Emily de Raven, um, which would have been at about the time that they were shooting Lost at the same time, 2003, I think, wouldn't it have been? Is it a bit before, a bit after? It might, might have been in, in the middle of shooting. I have no idea. Um, but we we know the sense of of, of smell in particular um, is good at memory recall. I do like the Doctor, Ducky, that every time we see him like performing an autopsy, he's always got a little story to tell. He, he seems very well... I mean, obviously, he's very well educated anyway. He's an ME, he's a medical examiner, but he has, seems to have a, a vast, wide um, knowledge of, of just general knowledge of stuff that most of us have no clue what the hell he's talking about, but they're, they're interesting little tidbits that they give in there. I know the show's starting off a little bit procedural, but let's give it a chance. We're only three episodes in. All of the episodes have been really good. We don't have an awful lot of backstory yet. Just for example there, like Gibbs is being picked up in this silver mercedes by this mystery woman at the end we know no details about that what we have found in, in this episode is we've met kate's sister um tony i believe is single i don't know about abby i like abby too um that's the second time the fbi guy's been in it i don't know if he's going to become like a, a regular um in the show or not but we're only three episodes in. Let's, let's just give it a chance, guys. I'll be back with episode four um, in the next day or so. We're doing two a week. If you are watching this on Patreon, it's one a week initially on YouTube. We will up the stakes and more episodes, depending on how popular it becomes. That's all going to be down to you guys. So with that said, if you are watching this on YouTube, I would appreciate a quick sub to the channel. All of these are available over on Patreon. Just check the link in the description as always. Um, and I will see you for the next one. Take care.